Hello everyone and welcome back to the 18, 18 part tutorial of how to model this uh, island. Now this time what we will do is we're gonna uh, use Photoshop for a while. I'm just wanna, I just want to show you something and from there we will continue. So the thing is that I want to create trees and I am gonna create lots of trees but um, it's just to demonstrate something that is very useful whenever you're creating things such as trees and basically it's got to do with uh, alpha textures textures with alpha channels that provides you a little bit more um, you know saving memory whenever you uh, populate your scene with uh, many polygons so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna open uh, Photoshop okay so be with me a second and I downloaded two different files one is PNG extension and the other one is JPEG and for a good reason and I'm gonna show you why um, I'm gonna right click choose open this with uh, Photoshop and you can see that the PNG file has some uh, unique information it's got with a different uh, layer uh, background okay and basically uh, it means that you can use this as for texturing in game engines so if I will go over uh, Maya, well, let me first make sure I save this and I'm going to open new scene here and I will create a plane. Now I know some of you already know this, but I'm just making it for other people who don't familiar with this. So I'm going to reduce um, all these unneeded um, subdivisions right click choose assign new material I'm going to choose Maya and from the Maya menu I will choose Blend. okay so here you're gonna click where it says color on this checkered box and file from this menu and then you will it will uh, this icon will appear basically a new tab you click on this icon and you navigate to that particular um, texture of yours and don't worry I'm gonna show you how to create your own or use um, things you can already download so I'm gonna click open leaf this one okay you see leaf one and if I'll press 6 you can see that it's really transparent though uh, you can render this in mental ray but the only problem that you will have is that you see this shiny thing here that you have um, it comes with a little bit of problem when it comes to render this so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna just load up my mental ray plugin it's down here well it's loaded so this is how you load the mental ray make sure these both ticked close you go over here change here to mental ray quality let's put it there and that's it so if I'm gonna render this this is what will happen you're gonna see that frame of the plane and basically it looks a little bit blurry because what uh, this blur come from is the specular highlights that assigned with this material the bling material so basically you need to go over specular color and change the specular color into black that way you eliminate that specular colors that are reflecting from the surface and if you're going to render this now you will see only the leaf without, without that extra information okay now here it's black and by default whenever you are gonna render uh, beneath the tree I don't know like some of the leaves will be bended and you will see this thing don't worry it will render the other side as well <coughs> okay but <coughs> sorry um, the thing is that there is a way on how to change this and that surface basically to be a little bit different so you can use same uh, not the same but taking the same texture create a copy of that texture with uh, different values like making it dark there still green but darker green like and 
basically have something that is more realistic. But we ain't gonna deal with it right now. We just wanna keep things simple. So if I'll go and take the JPEG now, and I will load the JPEG one. So here it is, lift two JPEG. You will see that we have this entire white color and I'm not sure if there is an option, but I think it's not. We don't have any option here. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Uh, no, no, not really sure about that. Um, so anyway, you want to make this as with alpha channel, just so you, you will get the same result as with the other leaf. So how are we going to do this? We're going to go and open that particular uh, leaf. Let's close this one and let's drop this one into the scene of in Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to scale this up and here you will have a lock. So you're going to take this lock and put it on the trash. Now this uh, specific um, JPEG is very clean. I mean the background is white background and you won't see any shadows appearing beneath. So that means that someone already edited and cleaned, it basically rendered this uh, this particular leaf, okay? So uh, it's very easy from that stage to get rid of the whites and uh, also create that alpha channel. So how you do it? You can either use the magic wound tool which is here okay where it says quick selection tool by default you would see the quick selection tool so you can click here hold and release and then you will see this magic wound tool and you can choose this white background but at least for this particular uh, jpeg you see this area haven't been selected and there are many areas like this one here which also haven't been selected so in this case, where you don't have ch changes in tones on your white color, it's easier to go over color range and choose the white background and get a better selection with containing that same portion. What? Sorry, but for now, I will have to do this with the first, get rid of the first selection and then do that. Okay, so select color range. Now I will, f I will choose white. It will choose everything, including that area, you see? But still, um, you can have issues here, and you can use the magic wound tool to help you get those white areas if you zoom in, okay? Now, another way or trick to make a better render of this without getting any white pixels, uh, you know, around your leaves, um, you want to go over and like choose select, refine edge, and play a little bit with the radius. You can you will start to see the leaf, okay? So basically that helps you to take a little bit more bytes out of the selection in order to get closer and get rid of those, um, you know, uh, problematic areas where white pixels uh, gathered in this selection together with the leaves. So I'm gonna undo that for a second. I don't know why it's done that, but let's try, click OK. OK. From that point, whenever you selected everything that needs to be selected, you're gonna go over select one more time, choose inverse. Basically, right now, instead of uh, taking the background, it only contain the selection only contained the leaf, okay, itself. So from that point, you're gonna go over channel and simply click on that icon here, okay? This will create an alpha channel. This is our alpha channel. And if you go over there, you will see that everything that is in white color, this is what will be visible in Maya. And whatever is in black, this will be transparent, okay? And it doesn't, um, like, Maya won't count the white background that you already have on that, okay? So it's masking it by creating this alpha channel. 
And you can also get rid of this. I mean, it doesn't have to be like you have this white background. Anyway, you're going to choose File, Save As, and... Well, I'm not sure, but maybe if, you, if you're if you going to take this background away, like deleting it, so Maya will um, will accept, accept it as a PNG file. And if you don't, you better go and use Targa. Okay, so let's let's try and put this into demonstration. I'm gonna go over File, Save As, and I'm gonna save this one as Toot One, but PNG. Okay, and click Save on my desktop. Click OK. Let's go over Maya, and let's load it PNG. Now you remember with the first one that we loaded, it's also been a uh, PNG file. So. I but in that, in that case, um, this PNG file, you could see that it's transparent on those areas. So now I'm going to choose this toot one. Where it is? Oh, it's here. Okay. I'm going to click open and reload. Okay. And you can see that we still have the background here. Now this is because uh, I don't know, Maya just read the alpha information in different way, okay? Now be sure that this is really the PNG right now, okay? I'm not... See? Reloading it, it still shows the same. But if I will go over Photoshop, and I'm going to do an inverse here, okay? And delete it, then of course if I'm going to save it as PNG, then let's see... Photoshop, PNG, and let's call this to one again, and save this. It will ask to replace, of course. Oh, I forgot something here. Okay. I'm going to switch back to Maya, and I will do a reload for this texture. So now it will really be transparent. Okay. Now, with that in mind, uh, basically, it, will, it should work, right? So I'm going to render this out. Everything should be okay. See? I'm gonna... Well, you see there are spots here that I didn't take with along with it. So you need to be very uh, precise with the work you do. See, there are lots of uh, blushy, I don't know, uh, it doesn't look that good. Anyhow, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to undo whatever I did. I'm going to bring back the white, you see? And I'm going to take now this as it is with the alpha channel and save as Targa. Okay, and choose to 2. Okay, I will call it 2, 2, save. Click OK. Now if I will go over Maya and load that one, 2, to 2, Targa, you see, even though it has a white background, it's still consider it as a transparent. Okay, here, reloading twice even, and you can see that it's still transparent. Okay, with the background. So this is why PNG and how Targa works. And I don't know if you know some other way to do this or work with this uh, or just about any other information about that, that will be cool. Now, the main thing here is to, uh, you know, uh, teach you how to create trees. And for that, whatever, whenever you're going to create a tree, you're going to use those as uh, leaves, because leaves, you need to have tones of them on a tree. Uh, well, you know, in bl blooming tree. And because these are, you know, only planes, uh, they have low, um, just low amount of poly count. And that way you can load tones of them and later on create uh, from this, you know, completed model of the tree, you can create a procedural um, model of it and just copy it as much as you like and it will uh, take much less memory of your uh, you know computer so it's very handy 
Anyway, uh, we're gonna continue the next part. Just bear in mind that you need to, uh, you will need to create some sort of leaves. I don't know. Just be creative and do select some other leaves from the web. You can find some of them uh, as PNG or Targa. Just be aware exactly for of what we learned this uh, lesson. So I will see you at the next part, and we will continue by modeling uh, our our first coconut tree i guess so i will use the other um leaf here and by the way if you will type in google images a coconut leaf texture you will find this one so go ahead and just find it and maybe i will put it the link for it in the description description but just make sure don't do any commercial use with it because i don't know what are the copyrights license uh, saying about that uh, anyway for education purpose it will be good so thank you for watching this tutorial and I will see you at the next part. Bye bye.